Sixth commandment concerns thou shalt not commit adultery. I also remember when I was a teenage boy growing up and when I would go to confession Saturday afternoon examining my conscience as I told you, uh, oh, let's see, fifth commandment, sixth commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery. Oh, boy, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That includes anything of a sexually illicit nature, impure thoughts, fantasizing about sexual things. Only inside the context of marriage is sexual pleasure permitted. Now, today, we have a lot of bad, fuzzy thinking, a lot of bad teaching on it. In case you, I know in this parish you've never been taught bad, you've got a great pastor, but some places they got a lot of goofy teaching going on. Sexual relations of any kind, thought, word, action, is permitted only inside the context of marriage. Thinking about it, knowingly and willingly, is a sin. Jesus said the man who commits adultery in his mind has already committed adultery. Now, nowadays, we have a lot of help. Television, pornography, bad deal. Very bad. Makes it much more difficult for a lot of people. Often, we don't talk about these sins because we're embarrassed. People aren't taught. Well... I'm not embarrassed. I'm going to tell you straight out. As I said before, I'm not going to hell for any of you. Therefore, I will not risk being negligent. Impure thoughts, sin against the Sixth Commandment. Masturbation, hmm? mortal sin. There are any number of moral morons teaching, even in the Catholic Church, who say otherwise. May the Lord rebuke them, we humbly pray. They're doing the devil's work. Look, I'm sympathetic to anybody's human weakness. I truly am. But that doesn't excuse that which is intrinsically wrong. Masturbation's a mortal sin objectively taken. Now, I'm not saying you have committed mortal sin. Maybe you didn't know it. Okay. Uh, maybe you didn't fully intend. Maybe you're addicted to it. You know, that happens to people, you know. They're enslaved to it. And they find it difficult to break it. The... Habituated nature of the action constitutes a mitigating factor which diminishes the guilt, but, but you've got to break free of it. Sexual relations of any kind outside of marriage are a sin against the Sixth Commandment or the Ninth. You know, what constitutes sexual relations, you know, barring not to distant past presidential forays, into that area. Hmm? It's all a bad deal. It's all sin. Okay? Mortal sin. Okay? You get the picture. Adultery, even worse. That's not only a sin against the sixth commandment, that's a sin against justice. You commit adultery with somebody else's spouse, you not only sin against yourself and the person you're sinning with, you're sinning against the spouse who's been cheated on. Very serious. 